and the beard continues to grow. Welcome to Working Man's Wet Shave, guys. I'm Josh, and today I have something very, very special. Homemade soap. Who made the homemade soap? Well, I'll tell you who made the homemade soap. My best friend growing up made the homemade soap, my cousin Chris. Now, cousin Chris is a lot of things. One of them being a genius, one of them being a handsome son of a bitch, another one being quite the ladies man. I think since the age of like 15, I don't think this guy has been without a woman. Uh, and he's one year older than me, so that's a good 20 year streak of getting laid. <laughs> I don't know what other way to put it. Hopefully nobody else in our family watches this, but uh, Chris is the man. Um, Chris can build anything. Chris can take anything apart and rebuild it better than it was before. He can answer the most random questions on the planet. For instance, I could say to Chris, hey, um, I don't know, what's a random question? What's the salt content in one square kilometer of seawater? And he would be like, oh, it's boom. And it's just like, how the fuck? Do you know that? And he knows that because he reads a lot and um, like I said, all around just brilliant, brilliant guy. But he's very shy. He didn't want me to um, put his picture up here. So, um, sorry Chris, I'm putting your picture up here. Boom, there he is. Like I said, very handsome fella, isn't he? Okay guys, on to his soap. Here it is. Not the prettiest soap I've ever seen. It's, it's actually, it's quite grotesque in terms of looks, but looks aren't important when it comes to soap. Scent, performance is. When it comes to scent, he fucking nailed it. This stuff smells fantastic. I believe there's a lavender essential oil in here. I'm not sure what else he threw in, but my God, this is not me, um, you know, trying to trump up my cousin. This stuff smells as good as 95% of all the professional brand soaps I've ever tried since I started this channel. Uh, just a really, really, it's got a really sweet smell. In fact, it's very akin to what I tried last week uh, for Mickey Lee Soapworks, the Drunken Goat. Um, doesn't have the same notes as that, but it's got that nice, sweet kind of after scent to it that is very, very, very appealing to me. So Chris, you knocked it out of the park as far as scent goes. Looks, yeah, you can work on the look a little bit. That's all right. You guys think I was uh, joking when I said you can make anything? Well, I wasn't. This razor, he made me this razor. He 3D printed the razor. He uh, put a better picture of it right up here. This thing blew my mind whenever he gave it to me. He gave me both of these things for Christmas, uh, the soap and the razor, and just, um, just wow. Uh, just, I don't know. As a kid, I always looked up to Chris. Chris um, taught me probably 75% of everything that I know today. And that's, I really don't know if that's an exaggeration. He just taught me so much. And um, Chris, for that, I love you. I'm indebted to you. I can't wait to try the razor that you, you made. I want to say bought. I'm so used to saying bought for me, but no. He 3D printed this with a 3D printer that he made himself. That's who we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a genius. A genius in his own time. A legend in his own time. Inside the blade, I got Bangladesh. I was pretty harsh on you a couple of weeks ago, I do admit. I tried your Balaka blade, and I do admit that it was shit. I'm not taking that back. That blade was shit, but I know that it's not the fault of the entire country of Bangladesh. So, to prove that I'm willing to give anyone a second chance, I'm using a blade from the exact same company that made the Balaka blade. The blade is 7AM High Platinum Plus. Wow, what a name. And just to, uh, reassure me because I think well, what happens is people always try to block a blade first and they realize it's shit and then they feel guilty because they're uh, you know knocking down a third world country and so they try to stay on an AM blade and then to reassure you the company what it does is it puts a little little footnote on the bottom here it says technical collaboration from Switzerland so okay 
Whew. I was worried there for a second, but hey, technical collaboration from Switzerland, so how can anything go wrong? If anyone needs technical collaboration from Switzerland, it's the great, lovely, hardworking people of Bangladesh. No offense. Start your day with 7am Platinum Blade. Platinum coated stainless blade. Double edge. Elegant and reliable. 7am. Smooth as silk. scent guys. I'm gonna get a full ingredient list from Chris. I'll have him send it to me as well as the uh, scent particles that he put in here. Scent particles, what the fuck is wrong with my brain? Um, and I'll list it right here for you guys so you can check it out because uh, I don't know what I'm smelling right now but god damn I'm loving it. Really cool. Alright, gonna put it on my underbeard. We're gonna shave that bad boy off. Stick around. Now please don't leave me. Please, please don't leave me. Let's shave. Well, it's better than a Balaka blade, but it's still shit. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Bangladesh. I am sorry. I don't mean to keep picking on you. Um, someone out there is watching from Bangladesh. I would love to come and visit your country, so if you guys want to give me a free trip, I will promote the shit out of it. Bangladesh! I'll tell you what, the cool thing about a 3D printed razor is this thing is light. Uh, the entire center is hollow, yet it's incredibly strong. It's some kind of um, plastic, some kind of polymer, I'm not sure what. Um, I'll show you guys in a second how you change the blades on and off. There's a screw here. You just unscrew it. Just like anything else, and uh, any blade will work in it. It's an amazing thing what you can do nowadays. Very, very cool. Good job, Chris. Okay, guys, definitely not the worst shave I've ever had. So I'm gonna relather back up, and then I'm gonna go across the grain here. Against the grain, kid. Always against the <laughs> Things I thought I would never do, and that is shave with a homemade razor and homemade shave soap. But uh, very pleased to have done it, Chris. Again, I I don't know what to say. I don't want this whole episode to just turn into a big kiss ass rodeo for you. Uh, but man, like, never cease to amaze me what you can do when you put your mind to it. So, very, very crazy. This 3D printed razor is one that I will probably have now uh, for the rest of my life. If all the razors I had, if I lined them all up, and you had to ask me which one I'll probably have until the day I die, it will probably be this 3D printed one. I just can't see myself ever giving it up. Whoever makes your razor, you know what I mean? You can't just give that up. Uh, but okay, guys. I'm gonna take a little break, put some cold water here on this area to start closing up those capillaries. Uh, start the healing process a little bit. Somebody recommended that I put an ice cube on my um, air, any area that I freshly shaved. Uh, this past week someone recommended that to me on either YouTube or Reddit, I forget which. I want to say Reddit. Um, but the truth is, I don't have the ability to make ice in my apartment. A, because I have a super small refrigerator, because I have a super small apartment. And B, because I fucking hate ice. I hate ice. I hate food and drink that is either too cold or too hot. I like everything to be pretty much room temperature. Um, if anyone else out there is like me in that regard, let me know in the comments below. Um, because my family, my friends, I've been made fun of that my whole life for. So um, I would like to know if there's someone else out there that likes everything they put into their mouth to be room temperature, uh, with the exception of pussy. Okay guys, I'm going to do something a little bit unconventional today. And that is, a guy left me a comment on YouTube a couple of weeks ago. A friend of mine now by the name of Parmar Gurdeep and he told me that the first time he ever wet shaved he didn't have any aftershave and uh, I guess he needed some because he wasn't uh, wasn't holding up too good and so what he did was he grabbed some Listerine and he threw it on his face and uh, hey this is working man's wet shave what we're doing here is we're trying to get the absolute best shave we can for the least amount of money and um, hey I'm not above it. 
Let's give it a shot. I use mouthwash like it's my job. I use it constantly. I hate having bad breath. I hate having the feeling like my mouth is dirty. And so, you know, it works so good in my mouth, why shouldn't it work on the rest of my body? There's alcohol in it, so it's killing the bacteria. No doubt about that. I won't have to worry about getting gingivitis in my underbeard. And uh, I'm left with a nice minty scent that I can walk around and be obnoxious with everyone else with. Be obnoxious with everyone else with. That's not really a sentence, is it? <sighs> I will say this for Listerine aftershave. I expected it to burn like a motherfucker, and it doesn't burn at all. I, uh, I know there's alcohol in it, and I know it's killing any bacteria that may be in the little microscopic cuts I left on my underbeard here. Um, so I expected an incredibly painful burning sensation, and I'll be honest, it's quite pleasant. Listerine as aftershave is quite pleasant. I don't know what it's going to feel like in a few minutes once it dries, if I'll have a weird sticky feeling. I imagine I will. Um, but for the time being, I have no complaints. Listerine aftershave, everybody. Thumbs up. Par deep. You're the man. Thanks for suggesting that. I, uh... I owe you a bottle of Listerine, I guess. But okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a weird episode. Uh, a lot of stuff here that you, you can't get. I know you can't just go out and get yourself a 3D printed razor. I know you can't just go out and get my cousin's shave soap. Although, if you do want to give it a shot, uh, he'd very gladly sell it to you. So if you want to get in contact with me, um, I will pass along the information and Chris will sell the shit out of the soap. I guarantee it because who doesn't like money? But okay, guys, you take it easy. You have a good week. You stay safe. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.